Umengameli ukshayele ihlombe ukuqala kwengqungquthela yokubunga ngezinto eyikhahlamezo mphakathi i Social Sector Summit e Boxbeck empumalanga yegoli kulesi ithangami umengameli uphawule ngembhikisho owasethembisa empumalanga yegoli nowasekagiso enjonalanga yegoli But over the past few days we have witnessed some of the serious challenges that our country faces scenes of violent protest We've seen damage to public infrastructure. And in some cases, we have also seen the loss of life in areas such as Kahiso in the West Rand, Krugersdorp, and Tembisa in Ekuruleni. Now, these incidents of, are of grave concern, but they also highlight many of the challenges that our country is facing. As we address these incidents, we need to distinguish between legitimate protests and criminality. Because unless we distinguish between the two, we are going to lose what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. Umengameli wezwe ukuluma engu nguteleni i social sector summit epoksupe kempumalanga yekuli. Agesi biele kona si koshab koma ingulumu nga mengameli. It is good that the investigations are progressing, that a number of arrests are being made and civil action is being taken and will be taken against a number of, of people. At the same time, we must acknowledge that there needs to be greater accountability as well as transparency in the sector itself. It is unacceptable for the lion's share of donor and other funding to be spent on just paying, you know, uh, senior staff uh, or funding their lifestyles instead of funding programs. It is not correct. High standards of governance, proper accounting and due diligence must apply also to our civil society organizations. So this summit has provided, in my view, an opportunity to hear more about some of these challenges and how they can be overcome. It has been an opportunity to hear more about the work that civil society organizations are doing in communities across the country and how we are taking stock of the reports that have come from all various provinces through the provincial dialogues and roundtables. And I'm particularly pleased that before this summit took place, you were able to hold your provincial dialogues. And I think, and I do firmly believe that before we, next, we hold our next summit, possibly next year or so, we should have those provincial dialogues so that we thoroughly workshop the issues and come up with solutions.